all about my money, get my guap and talk my uh. Higher than a bitch, I'm off the oil, they don't get it, uh Running up my money, I'm getting my money, I'm talking my chicken, huh that Bitch be talking that shit, but whole time told that bitch to listen, huh Running up this shit, but whole time ain't no competition, huh What's cracking, y'all? What's cracking, y'all? What's cracking, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. City up in that bitch, you feel me? You already know what's going on. Let me see, let me put the seat up. You feel me? That's bad. Let's see, so, you already know what's going on, man. Let's see, I'm finna roll up, you feel me? Uh, let's see, what's 11.40 type shit, you feel me? So, bro, we finna talk about the Island Boys, bro. These niggas is weird. I swear the world give the wrong niggas attention clout, money, embracement, whatever you want to call it, bro. The world, society, the industry, everything, they give it to clowns, bro. But I feel like that's the whole point of the shit. 6 9 said the shit. I'm going to keep saying this shit. 6 9 said the shit in the video. He was yelling. He said, they only want puppets and fucking clowns and pretty much anybody who's vulnerable and shit like that. I don't really know shit about nothing. He said, bro, if you really got talent and you actually got a head on your shoulders and they sense that or felt like that, you will never blow or be bigger than me because they want people like me who are lost in the fucking, who are lost in society once upon a time or this, that, and the third type shit. You feel me? Like, they really want niggas who really are desperate for money and dire need for money and damn near willing to do whatever and damn near uh, fuck themselves in any which way to have some money or get some money. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just weird as hell, bro. I get on Instagram and shit, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, motherfuckers say her talking all this, like, not talking all this shit, but like people talking and shit. And I'm just like, what the fuck going on? You feel me? So then I see motherfuckers instantly talking about the Island Boys. And I see the picture in the video, you feel me? The little sweet ass nigga sitting there tongue kissing. I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm like, wait, hold the, f hold the fuck up, bro. I'm like, did y'all niggas just really. Kiss each other in the mouth twice in a couple seconds and add tongue at that in the midst of it, bro. I'm like, gang, what's going on, bro? Y'all were never artists or singers to begin with. So it's like, how the fuck are y'all paid? You know how, like, they be sitting here, they always be on somebody's YouTube channel or this on the third or like short. They be, how much is this? How much this cost? And I'm like, if they not capping, bro, I'm like, bro, in a way, how the fuck is y'all sitting here affording whatever y'all got? But then I got to think, you feel me, jewelry and shit, you ain't got to actually cash out on jewelry, you feel me? Your whole jewelry appraisal or whatever could be 70K, you know what I'm saying? Or this can be 100K and this can be that, but you can just be sitting there paying off on the shit or then paid off on the shit over time or whatever the fuck, however the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Or you just might be capping in general because a lot of the times it's just like, bro, a lot of that jewelry do not cost that. And if you did... Get your ass whacked for that shit. You got whacked for that shit, just like I said. Because a lot of that shit don't even be worth that shit. It's just about whoever's selling it, what they want to charge you, and if you fall for it, really. Because if you can go into somebody's jewelry store, and they'll be, oh, yeah, this time I got this and that, and this and that, and this and that. You'll look at the list of prices, and they'll be like, oh, don't even worry about that. I'll give it to you for this. And bro, I dropped a set of whole two, three bands. I just was up in Texas, dude did this shit. He dropped, he tried to give me to buy some earrings right then and there. He dropped this shit a thousand dollars in my face. I gotta let you get them, they SIs. I'm like, yeah, I know about SIs, bro. They man made diamonds. They not VBS, they not, you know what I'm saying? A authentic, real, pressurized earth mine. You feel me? Like, they not real diamonds, type shit, you know what I'm saying? They, they passed the real quality test, you feel me? Because they got the same components as a real diamond, so they passed like diamond tests and shit, but yeah. That shit don't really be real diamonds. It be moist and night and all types of different shit and everything. You play a lot of different key things into, you feel me, where it's just like colors and shit. Basically, like, feel, when you see them niggas chains flickering and glistening and all of that, when you see the little sparkles of blue in the chains and shit like that, where it be glistening, like, real nice and shit, like rainbow, but then you see the hint of the little sparkles of blue, like, flicking, like, navy blue type of, like, thing, thing. Yeah, bro, that's the moist and night of the fucking SI. I forgot which one to be exact, but yeah. But I'm just like, bro. Anyway, how y'all little niggas constantly get money? What do y'all do? I mean, I understand, like, okay, what, a cameo, this, that, and that, but I'm like, bro, y'all not getting paid that much, so who the fuck wants to cameo with you niggas? Niggas can cameo with all types of other people. Females can cameo with all types of other people that actually like, give them some type of exposure. 
who's cameoing, paying for y'all for cameos or anything. And this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't gonna lie, one of the guys actually paid them niggas. Damn, that shit crazy. So I just thought about it. One of my homies paid them niggas for a cameo for one of the other homies, for uh, his mentor, you feel me? Lily paid they ass to sing happy uh birthday and island boy to uh a friend of mine named Drew Andrew he a realtor but they actually sung happy birthday to the man type stuff but like I'm like besides that you know they be on there making their money for that like people be paying them to do little weird stuff like be on the cameos and pay for cameos from but it's like other than that what do y'all get paid for to appear to perform to promote like. No one cares to see y'all, bro. So it's like, how are y'all getting this bread? Like, and that's what it is, bro. Is y'all over here low key behind doors sucking and fucking on each other and other people and getting touched on and letting people extort y'all in different ways without without money being involved, but extorting y'all for money instead of extorting y'all out of money, extorting y'all and paying y'all for it. And all types of shit, and then y'all just so some little boys. Well, that's why I got my bro, cause they just weird, gang. Like, they too attention seeking, like, they too attentive. Like, they just want people to attend to them too much, like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, how females, like, are really, like, females want the attention. I'm like, that's how they are. Like, they want the attention somehow, some way, from wherever. They don't care where it's at. They just want it. And then it's weird because they're always looking for hood niggas' attention, though. Like, Y'all are two boys who sit here and just be going after niggas that y'all know y'all not on shit with because y'all really be attracted to niggas all the type of shit and be wanting to go around them and really be buddy buddy and dick jack and dick so whole time. That's what y'all y'all be. That's why y'all did that shit with blue face and all types of shit, bro. Cause it's like y'all just some little corny ass sweet little boys on the road. The way they sit in front of the camera, bro, from the moment they ever got exposure, whatever, bro, the way they stand in front of the camera is always been a suspect. It ain't never just been, oh, uh, it's two little white boys, tattoos, this, that, and the third. It's a lot of weird shit. Then, the other day, bro, I was actually watching one of the videos, and I got to thinking. I'm like, bro, these, I, do these niggas sit and color their tattoos in on each other, bro? Cause I think they be doing that game because, like, the color on them, bro, is bright as hell. And the thing about tattoos, bro, they fade. The color fade. I don't give no fuck how dark and deep and nice your red is. It's gonna be nice and shit if a motherfucker do it right. But after a while, you feel me? It's gonna darken all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like my blue and shit. My blue nice. You can see my blue. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I can see it, but and you can see my blue nice as nice as hell, easy as fuck. But it's still darkened. It was low key lighter than this type shit. You feel me? But it's going dark and unless I keep getting it, I gotta get, keep getting it touched up. But I'm like, these niggas tattoos be looking brand fucking new. Like, they just sat the in certain parts and took color, whatever, color and marker and whatever and just... And then they done turned on motherfucking live or something and then got on camera standing next to each other. I'm like, bro, this shit just all be weird as hell, bro. I never understood how or why, but I understand how and why. If that makes sense, like, I never understood why the trends of being weird, suspect, sweet is what got people paid. But at the same time, I understand why, because majority of the people who got money, who's going to invest, you know what I'm saying, fund, and come behind and support a lot of this shit, they suspect to sell they sweet. What the big, well, he cut his... That nigga cut his hair off. That nigga cut his dress. That's crazy. But, um... <laughs> nigga cut his, cut his dress. That shit wild. But, motherfucking... Like, that shit just weird as hell to me, bro. Like, I don't get that. You feel me? It'll never make sense to me. I don't get no fuck. Because it's like... Bro, at the end of the day... You ain't got to do all of that, bro. You feel me? And, like, you got you to gotta pay attention when people are really in dire need for, like, attention. Like, desperation. They be desperate. Like, every day they wake up, bro, they're trying to argue with somebody unnecessarily, start something unnecessarily, be on live and just do all this unnecessarily. They be doing all this cap and all these videos, talking crazy, talking tough, all of this. Niggas wouldn't kill a fly if it landed on their motherfucking nose, my nigga. Like, this shit is crazy, though, bro. They'll argue with you all day, but you see it in their face. But I'm like, bro, they be making the most suspect 
sweet ass faces you can they be tough looking at each other and shit what do you mean like they never be ready to kiss every time they look at each other because they be staring at each other too long Niggas be having to unlock out the trance and shit while they on live. Finally, they even got caught somewhere with some motherfucker. Like, you either let this be known or I'm gonna let something else be known. And they just like, you know what, fuck it. They probably getting blackballed or blackmailed now. That's what, if they is, that's what they get. They can act like they happy, they sweet. Cause then, how the fuck they post these videos and pictures or whatever the fuck. And then, niggas ask them about it. They, we don't know what you're talking about. There's no proof or no evidence of us kissing each other. This, that, and the third. That's obviously y'all probably just trying to look for some more cloud or something. Y'all desperate because it's like, y'all obviously know. Y'all posted it. You stopped lying. Went to the nigga's Instagram. It was on his story. It was on their stories. Say Cheese took the shit from their stories. Their face. I mean, their Instagram post. They posted this shit. I'm like, that just make a motherfucker wonder, like, what y'all really be doing? Remember they were saying and talking that shit about the Epstein Island and all that shit and saying them niggas was on it. And they told me, we wasn't on no damn Epstein Island, that wasn't us. Shit, that's hard to believe now, my nigga. I mean, dead ass, that shit hard to believe. I don't want to hear that shit. That shit, wow. Is there anything else trending right now? Yeah, I'm gonna talk about something else now. Let's talk about Young Boy. Okay, so boom. Young Boy, right? He facing. So they, uh. I'm gonna put the article probably somewhere. If I. You know what I'm saying? But. They, um. What was it? I gotta go see. You don't like the when he said, try to be loud, I'm, I'm, I'm vlogging. Okay. And this is the lead. Right. Hold on. Let me see. Come on, fuck. Hey, to my young boy in jail. Nigga, not in jail. Okay, so look, they overturned key ruling in rapper's federal gun case. So, basically, it was like some evidence, you know what I'm saying, that they had, that they flagged saying it couldn't be used. That basically they're saying now it could be used. Like, the government turned around and went from saying, oh, no, it can't be used. It's illegal. It's against his rights to, you know what, it can't be used. We're going to allow it to be used. Like, how the, like, one, that's, like, how, man, bro, how the fuck is that legal? Like, I don't care, bro. Like, the government literally, there's a loophole somewhere in there. That's why. Because they literally, that's how the law is structured. Everything has a loophole. Literally, everything got a loophole. So, it's like, nigga, they sat here and was like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's keep reevaluating these laws and something to see if there's something we can find in here and extort it. Because it's like, hell no. Nah. They want to cook that man. He has too much power. For himself, and he don't really know how to actually be cordial. Like, it doesn't matter how much he fakes it, bro. We know that man is not cordial. And they not buying this shit, bro. It don't matter what he does. It don't matter how many white people he kick it with, how many innocent little white girls, white little boys, any little good deeds. They not buying it, bro. They know you just trying to say, oh, at the end of the day, you still rap about touching a nigga, busting a nigga, Brian. You ain't even been able to leave the crib in a year. You feel me? At least you were out. You don't have to sit in a cell. I'd much rather be like, the only thing that make it bad is like, they'd be like, oh yeah, he got turned or like, you pretty much really can't have fun in your crib. Like, they kill, like, they want the man to be so angered though. It's like, y'all want him to be mad because y'all, okay, we're going to let you out on house arrest, but you can't do nothing. First day, you can't make no music. Okay, like, what the fuck I'm going to do in the crib? Watch TV all fucking day next week. I don't know, play the game, read books. Like, come on, get the fuck out of here. Be realistic. You can do that shit in jail. Maybe not play the game, but you can read books all fucking in jail. The type of shit y'all want to do in the house. Y'all might as well kept me in jail if y'all was going to really, like, take my limitations. Like, set my limitations like this. So I'm instantly like... 
it'd be crazy how the government just be pulling shit out their ass, bro. And like for him, the nigga gotta really start being way smarter. Like ah, I, I, you can't really sympathize for a nigga who just don't change, bro. He not gonna ever change, bro. Like young boy, young boy to the point where like no matter what people be saying, like oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, he not gonna change because. No matter how much he done went inside in prison, he been doing this shit since he was young. It's not like certain people ain't never been in prison until they got older, like my cousin, who got up in there for his first time ever. And he like, man, this shit really not it. You know what I'm saying? Young boy done been in there knowing like, okay, it's not it on the born tip, but it's like, being outside, do you not, or do you really enjoy being free? That's what they be wondering, cause it's like, bro, you get out, you reiterate beef, issues, problems. You readdress everything. You address whatever's new. You feel me? You, you aggressive with every single issue. It's like, bro, how can we really sympathize with you and really give you a chance? We didn't get you multiple, but bro, look at you. And then you got a huge influence on, on, the, on the kids, bro, and you just won't flip the switch, bro. Like, we ain't saying you got a full-fledged chance he just saying, bro, change the narrative song to where, like, you motivate, you go make kids play basketball, but, like, John Moran. John Moran love your music a lot, like, but look what you, even your music do to the nigga, like, John. It's like, come on, bro, like, <laughs> it ain't your fault, but it's like, game. If you got that much power, you need to take it and turn it into something better and more powerful in a positive and correct way. And that's why they want, you not doing that. So they like, bro, this nigga, he getting tired of him. He got too much power and he's not using it to do no goods, deeds, nothing. He just basically a high half. Y'all mad because I'm, I'm, I'm rich and I'm popular as fuck. I'm the richest out. Like, they know, they, no one actually cares about that, bro. That does not hurt no one but yourself because you the richest up. So that means, nigga, your business, you might be making a lot of money, but you, like, the only reason, like, luckily you the richest because you the most streamed. You feel me? And go crazy. You can let go and back yourself up. You feel me? Young boy gonna back it up. It back up. The numbers, the music, the sounds, the fans, everybody, it back up. Fuck you talking about. So it's like, it all speak value for itself, but it's like, still at the same time. Bro, I hate rolling stems, bro. They make your blunt roll. Here it is here. Like, right in the middle. The best. Bro, look, like. But. It's like, bro, you got too much power, gang. They are not finna play with you. You did stop the violence for six, for fucking five days. You didn't do that shit for not even a full week, bro. I'm, I'm not hitting that shit. Like, I actually paid attention, bro. Y'all was over there buying shit. That nigga was pressing stop the violence for a couple weeks. I mean, not a couple weeks, for a few days. And a moment after Fredo and all of them probably, uh, not Fredo, but it is Fredo, but kind of, yeah. After Fredo and motherfucking three of them all have met up at that turkey drive for Thanksgiving and shit, young boy didn't have to be there. They said he orchestrated it at this time the third, right? He ain't have to be there. So he ain't really give a fuck about that shit. That was just on some, oh yeah, put my name on it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't telling me to stop the violence. You feel me? But the whole time, at the end of the day, it's business. He tried to pull a business move. Like, oh, yeah, make it look good. Like, yeah, stop the violence, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, like, I ain't no no nothing. I'm on peace. I don't want no problems. You probably really don't want no problems. But it's like, bro, then you get bored. Nigga say something. You sit there, try to play it cool. Nigga get mad about it still because he know he can't really keep his cool. So now the nigga want to stoop, made a motherfucking diss, probably popped a yacht, all types of different shit. Then nigga, he lit his hell. Now we said, sitting here, random as hell, 10 an hour later, two hours later, random as hell in the middle of the night, he on live. He done just posted a video on Instagram or something. He lit, he done posted a video on his TikTok. He really uses all his own shit too. No one operates his pages. You can tell, he would literally post his own shit. It'd be him or his, have his bitch recorded, one of his homies recorded, and his ass literally, he posts all that shit. And if he ain't recording it himself, like I said, one of them recording it, he posting it still himself. But it be him. Don't nobody run that man's Instagram. 
Don't nobody run this motherfucking uh nothing. Like ain't no man that's gonna come to that man. And the world know. That's why they like everything you say on your account is you. Everything posted on your account is you. It's like all this shit that we be asking you about and kind of like, do you think you could not do this? You do. Yup. Yup. Let me hurry the fuck up, boy. I already took too much time. Ugh. Fucking 12. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to have to smoke till 12. <clears throat> I'm going to be on 12. But, like, that shit is dumb as hell, bro. For real, for real. Like, the nigga needs to learn, bro. He's not learning nothing. So they keep fucking with him. Then he be sitting there like, they don't want to see me this, they don't want to see me that. It's like, YB, come on, thug. We all want to see you win if we could see you win, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? We all love to see you win if we could see you win, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real, bro, like. <laughs> bro. Like, damn, but then when I'm talking, it's all the noise. See that? That shit weird as hell, but then when I'm quiet, nothing. Like, dang. But, like, the shit just weird as hell, bro. For real, for real, like. Out of this shit again, cause I'm kind of, I'm kind of blown. Yeah. All right. So I'm saying, like that shit is weird as hell, bro. You feel me? Like, for the simple fact, right? Finna tweak, bro. For real, cause like, what the fuck? Every time I start talking, like, muff, like, come on, bro, be quiet. So instantly, bro. Like, my fuck. I ain't even gonna cut it. I just sparked my shit, cause like, damn, that's why I be saying, like, damn. But nigga. Shit just done, bro. The nigga don't be using this fucking head, bro. He be too subtle, like. I'm off the oil, they don't get it, uh Running up my money, I'm getting my money I'm talking my chicken, hold up, bitch Be talking that shit, but her time told that bitch to listen